Miss Grace, what you gonna be when you grow up? Um, the best ever. And who the world belong to? Us. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, that week has finally passed us by, and it's now time for part two of uh, part two of three. And like I said originally, it's gonna be three life essentials that school cannot teach you. Um, number two is gonna be uh, a huge one. You know, one we speak about a lot. Uh, it just plays a vital role in anything. You know, whether it's relationship wise, career wise, uh, athletic, school, whatever it may be. But uh, number two is going to be ambition. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorites when it comes to things that school did not teach us. Just my opinion always, always my opinion, uh, always my perspective, always my views. I just feel like sharing them. Uh, I feel like sharing them with like-minded people or people who may be headed on that way is very vital. But anyway, um, I don't believe ambition is a learned behavior. I don't, I don't, I don't really believe. Uh, you know, you could teach someone about consistency. You could teach someone about being productive. You can uh, teach them, you know, just teach them how to go hard. Teach them how to be goal oriented. I, I I really don't believe that that's something that can be taught. Um, I believe ambition is much like heart. It's one of those things that we all possess. Uh, it's one of those things we all possess. It's just up to us to you know uh, make it materialize, to make it make it blossom, make it come out. You know, uh, push it to its highest extent, and uh, just like I said with heart, uh, that's not something they were really big on in school. Which, I mean, I, I I guess I understand. I guess I don't. But anyway, uh, they never taught us in school. You know, to 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 seek independence, uh, reach for the stars. Uh, you know that we can be absolutely anything we wanted to be. You know, I, I remember countless conversations with teachers from a child all the way to high school. For the people who were dreaming big in high school, for the people who had those, those you know, those unordinary ideas, you know, the frowns the teachers would give, uh, you know, the rhetorical questions they would ask and when people would say these things, maybe, you know, it could have been an NBA, it could have been NFL, it could have been anything. Uh, you know, now had you said you want to be a cop, a doctor, a nurse, you know, they, you, you definitely get the pat on the back, you definitely get the cosign, you definitely get the okay, you know, you get that smile of reassurance, you know, but they never taught us how to be ambitious. They never taught us. Uh, they never taught us how to. How do I put it? You know, because I told you guys a few daily Jews back. I'm, I'm I'm highly disappointed in the school system. I can't speak for everybody, because I live in Hillsborough County, but I know the one that I live in. I'm highly disappointed. But this is one of my biggest uh, issues with them. Uh, I definitely feel like they under they under educate us. You know, they don't give us the proper tools to you know to utilize and whatnot out in the real world um i've counted somewhere a little over half a million dollars in three years uh grossed um i have yet to use calculus uh geometry too i have yet to use that um I'm trying to think of another math class I, I i can't think of another off the top of my head i have yet to use uh the Pythereum, I, I, I can't even remember. I'm sure one of y'all remember it. Uh, one of y'all may be in college right now. One of y'all may be fresh out of school. Uh, you know, I just I just haven't utilized these things yet uh, in the real world. And, I, and I'm not saying that there's just no way it happens, but I'm saying uh, I've reached a level of success, in my opinion, and I have yet to use these tools that, you know, they would have failed me for. Or, you know, actually, I did fail. I failed a, uh, I failed a Geometry 2 class. I believe it was 10th grade. Uh, so I definitely feel like we're, we're you know, we're undereducated. And then when we happen to figure out a way to get our first million dollars or, you know, to get a substantial amount of money, uh, you know, we, 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 
we're not really taught how to handle it. We're 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 not we're not giving out uh, accounting classes in high school. Uh, you know, simple things like they don't teach us how to do our taxes. So you know, we we actually figure out a way to, you know, to defy the odds and and, and figure out a way to you know um, do everything they said we could. And then they find a way to imprison us, so they find a way to take it away because they undereducate us in the first place. You know, you never. You know, you 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 didn't equip me with the tools. You slept on me my whole high school career, and then I got out. I got out here and found a way, you know, to win at this uh this lopsided game anyway. And then you arrest me because I didn't I didn't dish the money out right. I didn't pay Uncle Sam when I should have. And uh, you know, it's a bit off topic, but I think that also goes with ambition. You know, you just you never really taught us how to win. And and like I said, I I don't believe they really can. I believe they can. Uh, I believe they can give us some tools. You know, simple stuff like accounting, taxes, uh, you know, uh, leadership roles, leadership classes, uh, you know, business classes, uh, a CEO class, you know, things of that nature. But, uh, and like I said, I can't speak for all schools. I can only speak for mine. But I, I'm, I'm not sure how it works in every other city, but I know in Hillsborough County, you know, they have college prep, uh, pre-college prep. And I can't remember the third one, you know, but they, but they never had CEO prep. They never had business owner prep. And they 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 never had none of these categories, and I'm not sure if it's because they expected us not to do much with our lives, or or is it just a uh, a breakdown within the school system? But you know, ambition is not ambition, consistency, uh, winning, leading. These things are not taught within school. And, you know, and I said it, it, it goes back to uh, it's just like heart. I really feel like ambition is one of those behaviors. It's one of those attributes. That are going to be brought out of you, you know, maybe in tough times, maybe in your darkest times, maybe when you, you know, that light bulb comes on in your head and you figure out, you know what, this is something I really want. You create a goal sheet and that's when ambition is going to come. And I know, you know, from uh, a personal experience for me, that that uh, that push of ambition, that drive that, you know, uh, you know, get it by any means necessary. That attitude and that attribute came within me, you know, when I lost everything I had. I lost my job. I was on the verge of, you know, losing losing my car. Uh, had two kids to feed. You know, pr pretty much the same things that brought about, you know, how big my heart is to this day. And, uh, you know, when I was putting in those countless hours for those seven months, not getting a sale, you know, and just pushing, pushing, pushing. And then when I finally got a breakthrough is when it hit me. And I understood that, you know, my consistency, my work ethic, and uh, you know, my business practices could take me somewhere, you know, that 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 nobody that I personally know had ever been. It could take me somewhere that the people that were in the same lane as me had never been. Uh, which is why, you know, I'm blessed, but at the same time, which is why I'm here to this very day, you know, because I made the sacrifice they weren't willing to make. I uh I put in the hours they weren't willing to put in, you know, the dirty work. I did all those things they weren't willing to do. When they were asleep, I was working. You know, when they were eating, I was working. When they were enjoying uh, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, family time, I was working. Uh, you know, we, we, and when I say we, I mean my children and all, we sacrifice everything to get in the very position we are now. But, you know, just going back to the original point, that ambition within me was brought about because of adversity. Um, it's again, it's why I have the ABC on my head. Adversity builds character. Those dark situations force me to you know uh create a goal sheet you know to have those mirror speeches every morning to to push myself to sacrifice everything every everyone around me whether it be food whether it be idle time uh family my children um i tell you no lie me and my son played catch for the first time uh i'm gonna say april 2014 that was one of our first outside outings you know, from two years on, two years old and up, I was, uh, you know, I was just, I was just engaged nonstop. And like I said, again, that's something school did not teach me. They, they can't teach you how to be hungry. They can't teach you, you know, uh, you know, like one of my favorite speakers say, uh, Eric Thomas to want it as bad as you want to breathe. School cannot teach you these things. This is not a learned behavior. This is, and again, my opinion, this is behavior that is brought about by adversity by uh by hard times by you know by 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 having an epiphany and seeing a long-term goal uh like i said i took senior survival and again i was supposedly a class that was preparing me for the world 
you know, those, those parties and those drinks and those chips away cookies and those pizzas, they didn't teach me, you know, for, for a better term, I never got full off that. And when I say full, I don't mean physically, I mean mentally. They, they, they gave me no tools. They, they, they empowered me with no mental tools or no, or no mental stability to go out there and, you know, and, 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 and attack the world. And I don't mean in a bad way, I mean in a good way, but go out there and attack the world. Go out, there, go out there and attack my goals. Go out there and seek to be number one. We've always been taught to follow within the education system, at least in my city again. Uh, you know, we were always taught to, like I said, uh, get that diploma, uh, you know, get you a nice big uh, GPA, find your way into one of these colleges, you know, um, pay there to get the job, go out and get the job, then pay back the schooling. Um, I never understood it. I don't. I, I don't believe I ever will. You know, because when I post these videos, I mean, you can monetize YouTube views, and I'm not saying I have a ton of them. But if I decided to, you know, I can contact them and try to figure out how to monetize that, and try to figure out how to make money off the information that I'm sharing with you know anyone who decides to watch. But I never understood that why why you why why you make us pay for the game, only to go out there and get this so-called you know high up position just to pay you back. Uh, I never understood it and like I said uh, that's number two schools cannot teach ambition they cannot teach you how to you know how to want it for yourself how to you know be the absolute best at what you want to be they can't teach you how to be hungry they can't teach you how to be extremely consistent they never taught us sacrifice you know they they none of these things they 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 never had a lesson on sacrifices they would teach you all this BS about history. They would make you learn a, a, a foreign language. Uh, but they never taught us sacrifice. They never taught us how to do taxes. They never taught us leadership qualities, leadership roles. They never forced us to you know, bring goal sheets and dream boards to school and forced us to complete them when we failed that class. You know, make, make a class about goals. Where they make long term and long term and short term goals from ninth grade, and you make sure they complete them by twelfth. They never taught these things. But like I said, y'all, uh, number two is gonna be ambition. Uh, it's really self-explanatory. Nobody can teach you how to be hungry. Sure, you can motivate, you can do this, you can do that. But when you're tired, uh, when your head is hurting, when you're sleepy. Uh, when you got every excuse in the world, I cannot physically come there and pick you up. It's going to be something within you that makes you either quit or it's going to make you get up and keep going. That's ambition. That's drive. That's consistency. That's hunger. But again, y'all, uh, part two. Again, three life essentials that school cannot teach. Heart is number one. Ambition is number two. I'm going to see y'all next time for number three.